praise the Lord. Praise Him. It's okay. It really is to pray. It's okay to praise the Most High God. Just not feeling it today. Just not feeling it today, but I feel life pulsating through my blood vessels and I feel the activity of my limbs. So it's one of those days that I don't qu I don't have quite often or I don't have really at all. Just not feeling the greatest today as I leave this alone. But we have to push through and survive through and overcome. Perseverance takes on a whole new meaning when you have persevered. But there's nothing like knowing that you're sinking, knowing that you're fighting. And there's also nothing like feeling like you're on a treadmill, a hamster wheel, if, if I may, as I leave this alone. So I had to get permission to, to log off, to leave work. Not feeling the greatest. And I'm saying it out loud, not for pity, not for not for sympathy or empathy. I'm saying it out loud because I want our Father on the inside of me, our Father who's internal, eternal, and external. I want Him to hear me. Lord, I need your help. Lord, I need your healing. Lord, I, I need you. I have never not needed you as I leave this alone. I'm reminded of a story my dad told me one time and I heard a preacher repeat it. I believe my dad first because we all believe our papas, our dads, our moms, our mummies, our mothers, our fathers. But because I believe in my dad, he told me a story a long time ago when I was a little boy. He said there was two little boys flying a kite about your age and they was flying the kite for so long it started to drift way, 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 way up in the sky. He said the, 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 the kite had, had, had drifted so far up in the sky that the back of their heads was on their vertebrae, was on, was, was on the back of their neck. And I started trying to make my back of my head touch my, my spinal cord. I started trying to make the back of my head go down to the middle of my back because that's how much of a picture my papa had painted for me as a little boy. He said, while, they were, while the two little boys were flying the kite around your age, along came a man and asked him, what are you doing? What, what, what y'all doing? And said, the little boy said, mister, mister, we flying the kite. He said, that old man said, I don't see nothing. I don't see nothing up there. But the little old man saw a string in their hand. And he asked the little boys, how do you know that the kite is still up there? How do you know that the kite is still on the end of the string? The little boys looked at the old man and said, Mister, I can feel a tug on the string. So, Father, this morning, I just need to feel a tug on the string. I just need to know that you're there, Father. I just need to know that you're, you're there. I, 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 this praying man needs to know that the most, Hi, God, how you doing? who's invisible, or who's forever present, who's omnipotent. Father, please, I just need a tug. I just need a pull on the string. I know you're there, Father, as I leave this alone. So I got permission to just log off for the day. I'm sitting out here listening to it rain, <laughs> talking to the Lord. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Master. All I've been through, Father, all I've been going through, all I've been through, I still, Father, believe. I still believe, Father, in the tug <laughs> of the string attached to my heart, my mind, my existence, my soul, my spirit, my life, force, and my life, Father. I feel the tug. I feel the tug, Heavenly Father. I feel the tug on the string. Peace. Heavenly Father, I feel the tug on the string. Amen.